gonna be the climb track. In practice five. Monster Mountain. It's gonna be fire. Like this track? Yeah. We've been here every year now for the Father Sun race. It's sick. Now let's just hope it's all right in my class. Yeah. Big super mini kid now? I am super mini. Super mini. Super mini without a super mini. I don't know how I'm allowed in the class. It doesn't make any sense since I don't have a super mini. But, you know, I'm gonna go out there. It's, re it's pretty deep right now. Just find out my lines yeah. and hopefully do better than last time I was here. That's the goal. This is our third time doing this event. I've always enjoyed it, you know, like I think it's where our kids level at. It's just, it's such a great stepping stone and like fair play, you know, like they don't have anything bigger than Super Mini here. Um, so that allows, you know, kind of multiple other classes and stuff like that. And so Kaya has a really good uh, girls class. Tate, we're actually gonna, he only has an 85, but we're putting him in Super Mini uh, for some gate drops. So we'll see how that goes, but track's awesome. Always want to bring my bike, but we didn't have room in the van. But uh, I've only I've rode it like every year I've come, but always on 85. So and we got some real stiff competition this year. Josh Grant and and his son Wyatt. So it's gonna be tough. Wyatt and Tate are probably pretty close. I would assume that that uh, that JG and I are pretty close. JG rips actually. Let's be honest. Like he's smaller than me, and so it's gonna be a battle. It's gonna be fun. Please. Let's light the other one. Okay? Sure. It's not about more, it's about just doing it right. Don't squeeze the 
whole juice out of the lemon. Just get what you need. Right now? We live by the principle of greatly exceeding expectations in everything we do. This mission has earned us the ability to represent 12 of the world's leading power sports brands as one of the largest power sports group in the nation. We are a deeply passionate and competitive team. We are a proud employer of over 300 people across nine locations in three states. A typical day at Mount Motorsports goes beyond power sports sales and service. We truly believe in having fun while we serve others. Every member of our team takes pride in learning from and growing one another. We are never afraid to be imaginative, experimental, and bold. There's no other company in the industry with such a high regard for investing in its team and its future. As growth-minded industry leaders in power sports, we know the importance of discovering extraordinary new talent to join our expanding team. If you strive to exceed expectations and are devoted to excellence, Mountain Motorsports is the place for you. I mean, I'm honestly a little bit like excited and surprised. Like Tate's riding really well. Um, he just has a different approach, is what I would call it. Like I can just tell that his little mind's ticking. He's, you know, we had a big talk this morning, and you know, he really wanted to do the jumps, you know. And honestly, there's a really big uphill triple um, that I was probably totally okay if he didn't do it. But then if he does it, I'm proud of him. Um, anyway, he full on sent it, didn't really tell me that he was going to do it or like it wasn't really a conversation. I was watching something that I've lived, right? Like that feeling of like when you're riding the whole track, there's just something like where it's bothering you, you're like it's driving you crazy and it ruins your whole lap and I could just kind of tell that something was up and then next minute he just full sent it. So yeah, kind of just funny. But those vibes, like that feeling, like there's a whole crazy emotion that I've not felt outside of my own success at racing, you know? So, pretty cool from a dad's standpoint to feel my, my kids starting to push and starting to get to the, you know, the level of, of what, you, what he's, you know, personally chasing and, and set a goal for himself. So, as a dad, really proud. Um, for me, he just, you kind of ticks the boxes of the, of the jumps. Now let's, you know, get where the real lap time comes from, and that's corner entry, mid and off. Um, I think he still needs to work on that and be improved, but yeah, proud, proud dad. Uh, Kaya went out, had a much better second practice. The first one was kind of like meant to be what we thought, like an 85 group, but it was kind of like just a, a free for all. Um, and so I put her into the girls slash uh, novice group, you know, like kind of learners. Um, and that just, I think that was more her, you know, her, more her capabilities, more like down her, just the way where she could battle people and have fun rather than people doing all the jumps and ripping past her. So yeah, we're just always chasing, trying to learn that, that skill to, you know, feel confident about jumping. If you do that, you'll be like, bruh, and then you'll get so much better and then come around, bruh, and then like, it'll make you so much better. I got it. 
stop. We can't yeah, but you, you land on the end every time. Your commitment to landing on the end is beyond any. Look, we just talked about yeah. that, and I said, look, the only way it changes is she changes it. Yes, so just, just a little bit, little bit more throttle. Everything will flow better. The track will feel easier and smoother. Like your position when you get your head over the front. Yeah. Bam, bam. It's a really hard two laps, honestly. I know. It's like literally a sprint. With no practice on a motorcycle that does not feel okay to ride. <laughs> so, and you got big competition this I've got a lot of competition. You've got two second places. Yeah. So you're feeling a bit nervous, is what you're saying. Oh, no, I'm not nervous, but I, I mean, I got race vibes going. I'm eyeing out the lines. I'm like so that I get one sight lap. That's it. So I gotta, I gotta know what's up. I gotta ride a bike that I ride once a year, and I gotta do this damn triple. I gotta do a first lap. Oh, dude, they're so scary. You know what? When you put, when you have street clothes and riding this thing, it feels so different than like sitting on it. Like as soon as you have gear on, your mind like has a has a switch. Ready, kiddo? No, I say we just get a huck at first lap. Nervous to be all the dads. Nervous. No. Nervous to send a triple, maybe. <laughs> oh, it's bigger than last year. Oh, great. I only just made it last year. Are we going to go like parents all now? All dads Like 85, 65? Yeah. What about some that are doing both? That's why you get two laps, Chad. Switch. Switch? Sure. No, it's good. Who, who's going to monitor that? We don't want JG over here getting too many laps. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's already got arm pump. He's tired already. I just need to be careful where I push because I can, I can. It's lean for me. Yeah. Um, but it's good. I found some lines, like things that I can do to roll around. Pretty good. Oh, Jay, he's just barking. It looks sketchy. So sketchy. It's so small. He, your husband's small too. <laughs> this is for fun. Well, I want to win, but let's keep it fun. Yeah. Be smart. Hit your lines. Hit your lines. Bring it back, and I'll do my job. Get a good start. Put yourself in a good place. And then ride smooth, real smooth. Really smooth, fast. That's right.
then, dude, you kind of slowed up a lot, and I just, I was like, I had to just pull right. I should have pulled left, and I, I would have been. I was going to go so slow. You could, I'm like, don't jump it. <laughs> I should have pulled left, and I would have been okay, but I was like, shit, I don't know what he's going to do here. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. Boom. All right, here, you can ride your bike back now that the spots are shock blown. I thought I broke a wheel on the staircase over here. Like it's so hard to scrub and do two. Yeah, it's like worse. Like I think it almost. If I wasn't scared to scrub my, I feel like I'm gonna blow my feet off. <laughs> I feel like every time you land, it's like this, yeah. and then you're like, eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then it lifts back up. My only ammo was to do the triple, and then he kind of like he was in the middle, and I didn't want to land. Like obviously not land on him. I should have just went to the left. <laughs> I got scared and went to the right. I didn't get that far. Scared money don't make money. <laughs> that was fun though. You were good, really good second lap. My start was right. It was, you just spun. Um, but yeah, that was fun. That last lap was a lot closer than I was. Yeah. Already on the uphill, I was like, I don't got it. It's funny, like there were sections that you, you were, like there's sections that you were better than me, and then it's just sections that I could catch you. It felt great in the sand. We were like, <laughs> dude, we were both ripping the sand. Yeah. <laughs> like, you don't even back off. Like, oh. over that thing, like, man, man, just come in there, grab a handful. No. But you just I come like in this there. Section. This section. That is, is fun. fun. It'd be fun on, on a bike. I know what I mean, like. Like the faster you go on there, the easier it is. Yeah. Like you just get in there and, and you're just like. like you know yeah. I feel like this year I did way better. Dude, you're ripped. Well, like you're. I think I carried was... this one a little bit. I caught up a little bit and gave you a chance. Yeah, you know you gave me a chance. Yeah. It was good. No, your second lap was really good. Like really, really good. I was impressed with it. I had an option to go left or right, and I went the wrong way, so it was on me. He stalled out good. He played it good. He kind of just sat in the middle of the track, and I was like so committed on doing it. And I'm like, oh, am I gonna get close? And then I'm just like, screw it. And I just kind of pulled off to the side. But anyway, it was all good. Watch your leg. 